Are you interested in getting a new dog? If yes, then you need to think about whether you should get a purebred or a mixed breed and consider all factors that could influence your decision. The differences. Many potential pet parents carefully weigh the differences between purebred dogs and mixed breed dogs. Both of these types each have their own set of advantages. And by understanding the differences in owning a purebred or a mixed breed, you can make an informed decision about whether one is a good fit for you, your home, and your lifestyle. Purebred dogs. Purebred dogs have parents that also have a pure lineage and are a product of selective breeding by humans. They come with a pedigree which is paperwork that certifies the lineage or proof that both mother and father are both from the same breed. If the paper shows that the dog's ancestors all come from the same breed, then that dog is considered to be a purebred dog. Purebred dogs may also be registered at any breed club or part of a national kennel club. With over 178 breeds recognized by the American Kennel Association, you have a wide selection of purebreds to choose from. Advantages of purebreds The main advantage of buying a purebred dog is you know exactly what you're getting. You'll know how big your puppy is going to grow or which type of care it will mainly need. When purchasing a mixed breed puppy, the primary disadvantage is not knowing how large it will be as an adult. This is essential for when you're considering the size of your living space, or whether you or a family member has allergies. You can also research its personality type. While not all dogs in a breed have the same temperament or activity level, most of them are very similar. Owners who are in their 40s or above may prefer a breed known for its low energy levels, while younger owners may prefer one with a higher energy level. Likewise, those that want a dog for a specific purpose like hunting or swimming should select a breed known to excel in those areas. Mixed breed dogs. In contrast, mixed breed dogs have parents from different breeds and usually have an unknown ancestry. They may also be known as strays or mutts, but may not always be the case. Many dogs that look like a purebred such as a Cocker Spaniel may actually be of different breeds. Advantages of mixed breeds Mixed breed dogs are usually said to be genetically healthier and on average live longer than purebred dogs too. There is a term called hybrid vigor, where the diverse gene pool in mixed breed eliminates the genetic health issues that are common in pure bloodlines. This means that mixed breeds get the benefits of two different genes, and the chances of passing on hereditary diseases are reduced. Mixed breeds are also considerably less costly, and can be adopted from animal shelters where you will only have to pay for the adoption and vaccination fees. Are mixed breeds really healthier than purebreds? Not necessarily. Whether the puppy is a purebred or mixed breed, they both inherit genes from each parent. If the parents pass along genes for a hereditary disease, then there's a good chance that the pup will have it too. Why do some purebred dogs have health problems? Of course not. When you purchase or adopt a purebred dog, you are getting a dog that has less genetic diversity than a mixed breed dog. What you can do is avoid purchasing a purebred or even mixed breeds with a hereditary disease by only buying from responsible and ethical breeders who test for genetic diseases that are common in the puppies that they are breeding. You will pay more than puppies sold from a backyard breeder or the unethical puppy mills, but it ensures that the puppy you're getting has undergone a genetic health test to certify that they are disease-free and will definitely be worth the money. Which should you choose? The final say is yours. Lifestyle plays an important role in this selection process. The most important factor in choosing between these types of dogs is assessing your lifestyle or anyone who lives with you. One of the first considerations is the financial part of buying a dog, as purebreds cost significantly more. Also, owners should plan for the known medical conditions that will arise later based on breed research. Second, would be you or your family's health conditions. If any one of you has allergies or respiratory conditions 
then you need a dog that sheds very little or none at all. With mixed breed pups, it's unpredictable if that pup might shed when it grows up. So consider that when choosing a breed. Third, lack of strength to manage a big, energetic dog could also make it more important to have some ability to predict how big the puppy will grow into and its activity level. Lastly, consider the size of your living space. If you have a large yard, then you may do fine with a mixed breed dog. But if you live in an urban apartment, then you may prefer a purebred for the predictability of its size. When deciding whether to get a purebred or mixed breed dog, all comes down to the lifestyle that dictates the best choice for you. And whatever decision you make, in the end, you'll get a loyal fur buddy who'll make your life a lot brighter.